What is good? Diamond Knight is Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're going to be reacting to. All right, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell the angel mama to tell the uncle Joe. He's still a mother bringing hole. Let's get right into the video, mother. So oh, CJ So Cool dropped a track on what happened the night of the shooting. Mm. It brings us his story. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I did not expect him to sound like that. Judy. And brings us. Sound like Big Bear. His story. Hey, let me tell you a story. <laughs> Might get a bit gory. Hey, it was three in the morning. I was in the best snoring. <laughs> Bruh, no, you cannot. <laughs> Bruh, what in the Dr. Seuss is going on here, y'all? <laughs> CJ, yeah. Come on, man. What is this? The night of the <laughs> shooting. It brings us his story. Hey, let me tell you a story. Might get a bit boring. <laughs> hey, it was three in the morning. I was in the best snoring. Hey, heard it kick up and jumped up so quick. Two masks, two clips, fast like running right in my head. So the Shade Room teens posted a clip and Funny Mike commented. In the garbage can. Thank you, Funny Mike. Like, what the fuck is this shit, bro? Tick underneath. <laughs> Gotta give it to him. It's the best song I ever heard. Yo. And Three, three, three. The garbage Facts can. And Royalty's male friend Rico also left a comment that stated, You want to be my son? You want to be my son. Nah. Other commenters stated, Need to put this back, back in the unreleased release. facts. He you should have kept this in the archives, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> he came out the hospital thinking he was Pop Smoke. Nah. Came out the hospital. <clears throat> Don't ever disrespect Pop Smoke like that, man. So thinking he was Pop Smoke. Ain't it? CJ did get Trash. good feedback underneath the video on YouTube. There's gonna be somebody who supports, who's lying to you, but come on up. People were stating things like, you killed that ish, and you did a good job on this, CJ. This I take trash. my hat off to you. I heard Woo. every word. Thank you for- It's like if Dr. Seuss was all some gangster shit, bro. Telling us your story from what <laughs> happened to you. We love you, CJ. Can you guys leave your thoughts on CJ's new track, Trash. Down in the comment section below. Negative zero. <clears throat> now, I just want to move on to this next topic with Crystal and Kiana J. Now, right. they recently sat down to discuss the reason behind the fallout. Okay. Before, but I'm going to just keep it short. I thought like it was a misunderstanding with he say, she say, and then uh -huh. social media played a role. Some type of way, she felt some type of way. So, uh -huh. we just separated. separated. Yeah, y'all was talking a bullshit about each other, ain't it? She was talking about she fight her. She talking about she fight her. Now, y'all buddy, buddy. Hey, I'm all about peace, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad they could get it together. Whatever issues they had going on, I'm glad they squashed it, you know? It wasn't necessarily like, bitch, I'm going to beat your ass every time I no, see you. It, yeah. it was more like, the I mean, situation went how... That's how it seemed. I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. That's how it seemed. Some type of way, so we just <clears throat> separate. separate. It wasn't necessarily... They try to minimize that shit now. Necessarily like, bitch, I'm going to beat your ass every time I no, see you. Yeah. It was more like, the I mean, situation went how... When we could have just came, talked it out, like, okay, it wasn't like this, it was like this. It's the labor Communication rule the nation, man. You know what I'm saying? So more <laughs> drama surrounding this Chris Sells, Queen, and Clarence situation. Now, just recently, a YouTuber dropped a series of videos mm -hmm. exposing Chris Sells. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened was, the guy what set it up was? where his girlfriend, I'm guessing, got in contact with Chris some sort of way mm -hmm. they're on facetime and chris is spilling so story is chris saw this girl right get reposted on queen's story so chris was actually lurking on queen's page saw queen repost this girl and went to go dm this girl and that's how everything started all of the tea. Now, he was under the impression that this young lady <clears throat> would be coming to Houston to visit him for some <clears throat> private time, but really... They no. She told him that she was in Houston. So he was under the impression that he was talking to a girl who lived in Houston. You know what I'm saying? We're planning to expose him the entire time. Now, Chris spoke on the situation with Queen and Clarence, as well as... And I also want to speak on this real quick. I've seen a lot of comments with people saying like, oh, Chris is switching up his story. At first, he says somebody told him. Then he said the girl told him directly, right? Now, I want to shout out to... <clears throat> 
I want to shout out to, I believe it's Jamila Thomas. And I had screenshotted her comment, right? This says, I watched part two of this video. She said she watched part two. And on part two, he said a girl told him first. And then the one Clarence cheated with, which is Brozzy, allegedly, right? Hopped in his DMs and basically told him without actually telling him that it was her. He said he didn't even know who Clarence slept with until Brozzy hopped in his DMs, wanted to know so, so badly who told him. So he's basically saying, she told me that it was her without telling me that it was her because she was so thirsty to know who you got this information from. So this must be the bitch that smashed Clarence, right? So she says, that's how she told him. All right. She, she incriminated herself. That's what he meant. Cause even on part two, he even said pretty much, I mean, she pretty much told me it was her by the way she was acting, but I could see why y'all could say something different or whatever the case is. He's telling the truth. Also notice when he asked what Clarence said in the DMS, he never once said Clarence denied it. He said, Clarence told him, shut the fuck up about the shit, right? Stop talking about it. So I just wanted to clear that up. Cause there's a lot of, um, <clears throat> There's a lot of people saying that Chris lied or his story changed up and his story never changed up. He's basically saying that the girl told him without telling him because she was so thirsty to know who told him. So that must mean that you're the bitch that Clarence was smashing on the yacht. So I just wanted to clear that up for everybody, um, just in case you didn't know. But, yeah. Speaking <clears throat> on Queen's mother. Now, this is just part one and two. He has a part three uh -huh. dropping tomorrow. Now, I'm going to play a few clips of what Chris actually stated on that FaceTime call. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm sorry, I kind of feel bad a little bit because Queen was trying to keep this perfect relationship thing. She, she, she wanted to make it seem like she was in this perfect, happy relationship. Mm -hmm. But. I kind of took a little bit back, because I didn't mean to fuck up that, but this thing has been trolling me for years, so all type of shit. <laughs> so you're getting revenge from him trolling you for years. Y'all trolled each other, Chris. <laughs> Yes, he aired out your personal business too, and that was wrong as fuck too. Like, I feel like a lot of people are emotionally invested in the situation, right? So they're like, oh, now it's Chris time, or whatever the case is, but just because Clarence did it, don't make it right for Chris to do it. Just because Clarence years back aired out some shit don't mean that it's cool for Chris to do it. If I cheat on you, right? I cheat on you. And then years later, you'd be like, oh, I cheated on you because you cheated on me. Remember years back? It's just like, okay, we could do the tit for tat or we could just not do it at all. How about focus your energy elsewhere? Nigga said I was playing around there like, oh, yeah, you a dumb bitch. Said all type of shit. Yeah. And I could see if they were currently feuding. They were currently going back and forth. They were currently bashing each other. Queen and Clarence brought um, Chris and Leslie up in a video recently and had positive things to say. Queen was like, shit, I thought they was cute. So to try to take that and twist it and, and try to justify the reason why you're being messy is just crazy to me. Just stand on the fact that, hey, I felt some type of way. You've been bashing me for years and I'm salty about the shit still. And this is my revenge. Stand on that shit, man. I would have way more respect than you trying to minimize the situation and just try to act like a victim, bro. And it's like, why are we talking about all this shit from the past with a woman you don't even know, fam? Shout first conversation, bro. You don't even know this lady <clears throat> from a can of paint. So it's just like, I don't know, man. Like, it seems like, like I said, Chris might need to talk to somebody, bro. <clears throat> Not even on no funny shit. You need to talk to somebody so you can get all of, the th all of these things off your chest so you can stop confiding in women who don't know you. You don't know these women, bro. You know, like, you haven't learned your lesson yet. Yeah, I'm still cool with her, but, like, her brother tells me she's all... Because I don't really be in tune like that, but, like, the, like the hospital, what, when she gave birth or something? Yeah, she was giving birth, and it was like, she was giving birth, and 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 she was giving birth, Every day, like it's it's the thing, but she get it from her mom though, because her mom is insecure, okay. and she just picked up that habit from her mom, which I understood that because I moved in with her, her mom. So like I'm under 
understood. Like once I like see her family, you know, I see the way she act, understood where she got her bad habits from. And her mom, I don't know if you ever seen her mom before. Her mom was real big. I don't know if you've yeah. seen her. I couldn't believe she said her mom is obese. She big as fuck, bro. Like, man. No, Chris has not <laughs> responded to anything. Yet. Of course not. I seen him go live, and he as soon as somebody says something about. First of all, when he went live, he turned the comments off. He went live with the comments off. Then he turned them on, and then somebody mentioned the girl in the video, and he immediately got off. So, obviously, he don't want to talk about the shit. Obviously, he knows he looks bad as hell. And the exposure is now being exposed. That's what I'm saying, man. When you put a certain type of energy out, you can't be surprised when it comes back to you. That's all I'm going to say, you know? Yet, but if you guys heard on that <clears throat> FaceTime call, Chris was speaking about Queen's mother, and he stated that he knew information because he was actually still cool with Queen's brother. Now, mm -hmm. Tina did go on to her Instagram and she stated... Y'all better keep that over there. Over there. No. Right, I don't blame her, man. Like, shit. This shit is too messy. So Chris did go on to Instagram <clears throat> Live and he was throwing little shade towards the situation because people kept asking him about this video FaceTime call with him exposing all of the family's business. Now, I honestly don't know how to feel about this situation, so I want your opinions. t Roll, I'm already knowing, man. It's so much shit. Every day is something new. <laughs> Every day is something new. And Chris, I ain't gonna lie, you are feeding the streets right now. I ain't gonna lie. These YouTube streets is dry than a motherfucker, boy. Sahara Desert in this bitch, right? So I appreciate you feeding the streets, but my nigga, bro, not at your expense. Your mental health, like, like I said, man, I really feel like Chris is crying out for help, but it's like, you can cry out for help, but you got to be willing to receive help. That's the thing, you know? It just is what it is. Clarence did wrong. You did wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's chalk it up. <laughs> Let's chalk it up. Why Why create more drama that's unnecessary? Especially with your ex-wife and your baby moms. You know, like, you don't care about her feelings. You don't care about how she looking. You don't care about, you know, baby CJ seeing all of it. You don't care. Man, I don't know, man. Like, you got to be less selfish and look out for other people, too. Like, you're affecting other people as well. You know? And if you really care that much about Queen and about her getting cheated on and all of that stuff, man, Tell her behind the scenes. But he clearly said in this part two video that he don't give a fuck because this dude tro trolled him for years. So he felt like he needed to expose it. He wanted the world to see it. So, I mean, it's a very selfish thing. It is what it is. I'm not here to judge him, but I am here to speak exactly how I feel. Just like I would tell one of my homies, you know, like if your homie can't keep it real with you, then that's not really your homie. Some of my homies don't even call me when they encounter certain situations because they already know they're going to hear the truth. Chris surrounds himself with yes men right he doesn't have any real niggas in his circle because he don't want to be told anything right he doesn't want anybody to tell him about it about about himself but that's the best thing that can happen in his life is somebody tell him about himself and tell him the truth tell him that some of this shit is goofy as fuck it's corny bro like you need help you need help you know and if you care about chris you would not lie to him and egg him on you would tell him bro like like what's going on are you good you know like are you good fam like do you need somebody to talk to? If you really care about Chris, bro. If you don't care about him, you're going to cheer him on. Tell him he's doing everything right. Tell him he's valid and justified in what he's doing. But real niggas, no. Like, this is not the move. This is not the move, bro. You know? And a real friend is going to tell you and be truthful about this shit. A fake friend is going to say, oh, yes, you're doing shit right. No, nigga. I wouldn't even do that with my own homies, bro. You know, especially if you genuinely care about somebody, you're going to give them the truth because you want to see them do better. You want to see them elevate, you know. So it's just like, that's just how I feel, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. <clears throat> Down in the comment section below, how do you guys feel about Chris being secretly recorded on a FaceTime call? I will say secretly recorded is crazy, but I also will say that Chris, you should know better by now, bro. Why are you spilling your secrets? And other people's secrets to a random. She's a random. So all a bitch got to do is have a pretty face? For you to spill all your tea, bruh? Come on, man.
with a girl that you gotta he do better. he was about to get some action from. Leave your opinion. And another thing is, as much trash that Chris talks, you don't think how e you you don't it doesn't even cross your mind how easy it would be to have a nigga set you up with a girl, right? And air your shit out. Maybe when your possibly your son is there, bro, you have to think. You gotta think, man. On everything crazy, bro. down in the comment section below. <laughs> oh, this is him on live, right? With his comments off. Mm hmm. He was on live with his comments off. <clears throat> Hold on. Was it? Yeah, it was. Mm hmm. So his comments was off, y'all. And then he turned it back on. I don't know if it's gonna show here. I don't trust these bitches. <laughs> I don't trust these bitches. You don't trust yourself, fam, because you put yourself in that situation. <clears throat> How could you trust a woman that you just first met, bro? Especially with that information. I'll show you where. Are you about to buy me some shoes? Yeah, the comments ain't gonna show, but he just turned it back on. I wish he showed the comments. Somebody had asked about the girl, and then he got off. As you guys can see, he, he got off. But anyway, guys, I also wanted to briefly speak about this. At first, I thought it was fake. But I'm going to briefly speak about this shit, man. I'm not going to post the pictures, because the pictures are graphic as hell. But, your mans, Josue Vargas, all right? Leslie Inez's ex-boyfriend. I believe that they broke up because of this information that I got, all right? I'm not going to say who sent it to me, but somebody sent it to me, and it's a burner account anyway. But it's a burner account that sent me two pictures. One of a guy giving Josue head, and one of a guy... Well, Josue has his legs cocked up, y'all. I don't even feel comfortable with my legs cocked up. But anyway, <laughs> his legs are cocked up. And the... Like, I... Bro, I damn near blocked the nigga whenever he sent the shit to me. I was mad that I had to look at the shit, right? Hostway's legs are cocked up, and the guy is either eating his butt, all right, or licking his balls. I don't know which one it is. He had his legs cocked up, and I'm going to just let y'all use y'all's imagination. He wasn't giving him top. He was doing something else. I'm going to just leave it at that, all right? I also want to shout out to my boy, Michael Marshall, all right? He posts boxing content, and he, um, he sent me... This post, Mr. Josue Vargas, right? Now, I don't speak Espanol, me no speak en Espanol, so I had to see the translation on Instagram, all right? There's an article, not an article, but a post that he was tagged in, Boxing Puerto Rico, and it says, Josue Vargas is the second openly gay and or bisexual boxer. Yesterday, unfortunately, a video in which Josue Vargas is having an intimate moment with another man went viral. Vargas, who comes from two tough losses, the least he needed was career scandals, but it's already a secret that is out loud. Y'all know how the translations is. Probably like the secret's out, basically. The private life of a person representing a country must be protected. I guess they're talking about Puerto Rico because this is a boxing Puerto Rico um, Instagram. It doesn't matter if it's with someone of the same sex or not. Yes. Well, I will say this, man. Like, look, it is Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. And I will say that if this is his truth, then, you know, that's great. And I want him to live his truth. I want him to live it loudly and proudly. Also, though, I don't feel like it's right to be living that life when you have a girl, you, you're, you're with somebody, right? And they don't know about that life. Now, I am suspecting, all right? I'm not saying this is facts. I am suspecting that this is the reason why Leslie and him broke up. If y'all don't remember, in the last Q&A or update video that Leslie dropped, she said that guys nowadays are very feminine. Listen. I don't know what's up with men nowadays. It's different. It's different. They act like us. But she said, I don't know what's up with men nowadays. They act like us. Basically, they're, they're feminine. So I think back then she was trying to tell us, like, look, this nigga over here, he's on some other shit. Y'all don't even know about it, you know? So I believe that that caused the breakup between her and Josue. I could be wrong, like I said. If she's speaking on these niggas being sweet and these niggas being more feminine than them or acting like them, then 
come on, man. We got to put two and two together. So I don't know, guys. I'm pretty sure Chris has a T on that, too. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Like I said, if he, if that's his truth and he's bisexual or he's gay or whatever it is, man, hey, live your life proudly, but don't withhold information from a woman that you're supposed to be dealing with, right? And live a double life on the side. That's not fair to that person. And I'm not just going to say just gay guys or, or just you sleeping with guys, even girls too. Like it's not right to cheat in general. I don't care if it's a, with a guy, a girl, whoever it is, right? If you're not happy, leave the situation, point blank, period. Like I said, I'm not perfect at all, but you know, me now, the mature version of me is not going to get into a relationship unless I plan on being faithful or unless we have an arrangement. I'm not going to be out here cheating because what's, I don't have to be in a relationship. So, with that being said, what am I doing in a relationship if I want to cheat? I'm going to just leave your ass, you know? I'm going to just leave the situation or I'm never going to get into the situation in general, man. So, I don't care. Like I said, man, woman, you should not be living a double life with a man or a woman, you know? So, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Very crazy news that came out about Josue, but nothing really surprises me nowadays. But I do feel like that is one of the reasons for Leslie and him breaking up. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. A lot of tea in this video. I love you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend until they ain't your mama, tell Uncle Joey still home. See you guys in the next motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.